Jimmy Doofus. Mr. Doofus, what did you think of Judge Sapsucker's decision today? I always wanted to do that. Mr. Gamblin, now don't be nervous. Who referred you to me? Uh, a fellow by the name of Bart. Oh, you know my brother. Oh. <laughs> well, just relax and, and uh, don't be nervous. Well, Dr. Sexton, I've never been to a sex therapist like yourself before. Well, don't be uh, shy. Tell me a little problem. Okay, <laughs> fine. I'll be short and to the point. Oh. Well, I, I'm, uh... Oh. Yes? You know, I'm, uh... Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm, uh... Fruit? Oh, well, thank you. It'll relax you. Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> uh, tell me, uh, do you have a preoccupation that kind of interferes with your normal behavior with your wife or your lover? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, I do. And, and, and when you do, when you do, uh, you know what, uh, uh, again and again and again, mm -hmm. <laughs> do you, uh... In a short period of time, want to do it again? Mm, 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 mm. Uh, mm, and me. when you when you do that, uh, do you mm -hmm. feel uh, kind of guilty, mm -hmm. depressed, mm -hmm. uh, you uh, mm -hmm. anxiety? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And mm. tell me, do you then go look for other partners? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well. I think I have a cure for your problem. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I, oh, no. Uh, no, no. I'm good. Thank you. Oh, wait, wait, I, I got wait, a cure. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Come back here. Come I, 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 I just don't understand patience anymore. I, oh, I hate hangnails. Huh? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome on board Flight 907, service to Miami. Tonight, we'll be flying at a speed of 550 miles per hour and at an altitude of 39,000 feet. Your aircraft tonight is uh, under the... Uh, Ma'am, is there something wrong? Do we have to fly so high? Jet engines perform more efficiently at higher altitudes. Well, that may be good for jet engines, but what about me? I mean, couldn't we pick a more sensible altitude, say... Five or ten feet. This must be your first flight. You're very perceptive. I assure you, there's nothing to worry about. In fact, flying is actually safer than car travel. So what isn't? Believe me, we're perfectly safe at this altitude. But suppose we had an engine failure or something, you know? Oh, um, engine, engine, engine. Well, if we were to lose an engine, then the higher we are, the more time the pilot will have to get it started again before we crash. Oh, you don't know how comfortable that makes me feel. Well, and your husband seems perfectly relaxed. Oh, yes, he should be. He must be used to air travel. No, actually, this is his first flight. Well, I never would have guessed. He certainly is taking it well. Well, you would, too, if you were dead. Dead? Yes, he died just before takeoff. That's terrible. Why didn't you say something sooner? So what? He's dead. You can't bring back the dead, can you? Well, no, but, I mean, is he all right? Is, is he going to be comfortable? Oh, he's just fine. Harry was never a complainer. Well, I don't mean to seem indelicate at a time like this, but would you mind fastening his seatbelt, please? Why? Is the plane in trouble? Are we being hijacked? Is there something you should tell me? No, please, no, please, no, no, no. you can tell There's me. There's nothing to be alarmed about. Then why don't you want me to fasten my seatbelt? Why are you worried about him? He's dead. Worry about me. Uh, well, I assure you, there's nothing to be worried about. <gasps> it's just that sometimes we hit an air pocket, and I, I wouldn't want your husband to fall out of his seat and block the aisle. You understand? Uh... Oh, I don't feel very well. Oh, oh, I think oh ma'am, feel... please try oh. to control yourself. Oh. 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 oh, I know this is a terrible flight. Oh. My horoscope lied to me. Oh, oh ma'am, please. Oh, get oh. sick on your husband. The poor man suffered enough. Oh. Look, I'll go get the first flight attendant. She'll know what to do. My training class has never covered this. All right, oh. you two stay right here. Oh, oh. why didn't I stay in law school? Oh. After the show tonight, want to take a little trip? Yeah, right. Don't go away.
You know, when people want to get away and play, they try everything to save some money. Airs of the newspaper, travel agents. But there's a better way. Players Club. If you enjoy Las Vegas, Atlantic City, Reno Lake Tahoe, the Caribbean, Players Club is made for you. You know, they book you into first-class places like the Riviera, the Flamingo Hilton, Paradise Island, Resorts International. And your membership card gets you up to 60% off your room in season when other people can't even get the room. 25% off meals and drinks. Another 50% off shows. You don't get deals like that in a newspaper. And here's why this card's so special. Players Club members are good customers, so we take care of them with discounts and privileges the general public can't get. I can't give you all the details now, so call this number for plenty of free information. Read it, then make up your own mind. New members get two free room nights in Las Vegas or Atlantic City when Players Club books your flight. There it is, Al Greenwood's Best Bread Kingdom. One whole city block on Pacific Coast Highway at Temple in Long Beach. The largest best bread store in the whole United States. More than one half off, king size name brand best breads. Bill Blast, Spring Maid, Andrew Richard, and many others on sale at only $49.95. This is our drapery department. They're all fan folded, ready to hang. You can buy them today and hang them today. You don't have to wait for months to have them made up. The Bedspread Kingdom in Long Beach. It's Jane, John, Gilda, Dan, and Chevy. Live from New York, it's Saturday Night It's all the not ready for primetime players. Mr. B? Yes? Congratulations, it's a worker. It's a worker? It's a worker. It's a worker. It's, a worker. Hey. it's Saturday Night Live. Weekdays at 5.30, Saturdays at 10 p.m. on KDOC TV 56. You sure you haven't changed your mind about going out tonight after the show? Short ribs. <laughs> All right, take your time. Take it over. So you're the one that's causing all the problems, aren't you? But I don't feel very good. <laughs> Stop that. We're just going to have to do something about that, aren't we? And how is your husband? Well, he's still dead. Oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> oh. oh, isn't that sweet? He is dead. We'll have to turn back now, won't we? Turn back for a stiff? Don't be silly. Now go get a blanket and go tell the pilot Oh, I'm so sorry to be so much trouble. <laughs> a lot of good being sorry does. Do you realize how much paperwork I'm going to have to fill out now? Oh, oh, why do you have to do that? It's so heartless. It's so cruel. Because it's regulations. How do you do, everybody? Hey, would you like to finish these peanuts? Go ahead. I used to fly one of those. Hi, Stuartus Jane, Stuartus Ellis. <laughs> From my point of view, looks like you're picking up a little weight. <laughs> All right, now, uh, where's this uh, woman with a husband problem? Oh, oh, he's no problem. He's dead. Huh? He's dead. <laughs> oh, uh, he, yes, uh, well, don't worry about a thing, uh, with old lady. I mean, death is nature's way of telling us we'd better slow down. I, and even though you're not in first class, uh, we're gonna treat you great. <laughs> right, gang? Right! Yeah. Uh, yeah, and because we are great, and because we are having a little engine trouble, we're going to perform a funeral service for your husband right here and now at no extra cost. And that's because you are in first class. Okay, gang, I see we're kind of losing a little altitude. So, uh, Stuartus Ellis, uh, go out there and uh, let's get burying. And uh, Stuartus Jane, open a hatch and suck him out. All right, now, let's get going. You got any more peanuts? Oh, we are going to be all right. Oh, oh, come on, let's get him out here. Oh. Ah, it's so wonderful to be here in the fresh mountain air, drinking our fresh coffee. <laughs> oh. Hey, oh. There, 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 Patty. Oh. There, Patty. Bolton, what is in this coffee? It's my new Boulder's Mountain Excavated Coffee. 
mountain excavated? Yes. Boulders decaffeinated or regular consist of coffee mixed with boulders, granite crystals. Smell this aroma. Hmm. I think, don't, don't, don't sneeze in this can. It will give you that good to the last pebble feeling. Would you like a second cup? Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> there, 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 there now. Oh, there. this is most, I think I swallowed a pebble. <laughs> How can you drink this stuff? <laughs> well, if you got paid for this commercial as much as your old friend, Mrs. Bolson, you'd drink the cockatoo. And the cockatoo's related to a parrot. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Eat a Stanley regular, just like healthy people were. We're plump, we're juicy, and taste really great. We're prunes home growing right here in this state. Forget those raisins, they're too small. We're the tops, and they nature's call. One bite, grace to the nearest tall. Long live California prunes. Yeah! Central Headquarters. Yeah? You want to report an obnoxious TV host? What channel is he on? No, we took care of Wally George yesterday. Oh, okay. Well, I'll check into it. Thanks a lot. First, I'd like to warn that today's program shouldn't be seen by younger viewers. And as usual, our trashy show is going to focus on the kinky sexual activities with lots of name calling, <laughs> screaming, yelling, and furniture throwing, right here on this edition of Geraldino. So stay tuned. Attention, Hostbusters, red alert. This is an emergency. What took you so long? Uh, I was in the middle of adjusting my flux capacitator on my yucto gun. What's up? Oh, Geraldino's doing another kinky, trashy show. Really? What yeah. channel's he on? I wonder if he has any hot babes on tonight. Hey, Jimmy, we hostbusters are supposed to bust hosts, not watch them, remember? Well, if I know that Geraldino, he'll soon be asking his unfortunate guests about their sexual preference. Mm. We haven't a moment to lose. Let's rush over to the TV station in our hostbuster ambulance. Great idea. And I'll get the yucto guns and the yucto foot pedals and the yucto hoses and pack all that yucto junk in a yucto backpack. Oh, Jimmy, let's just take the guns. I don't want to carry all of that heavy yucto cock up. Yeah. Hi, we're back. And what's your sexual preference? Hold it, Geraldino. Your trashy TV host days are over, bud. That's oh. right. Who are you guys? Next week's guest on the sexual lives of little people? I'll pretend I didn't hear that. We're the Hostbusters. Oh, no. I've heard of you guys. I'm out of here. Shoot up! No, no. Oh, oh. Ah! 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 Scared of nothing, I'm a cussing on every squirt. For dinner, I eat rocks, and I have gravel for dessert. I kick my horse and bite my dog and shave with broken glass. And everybody scrams when I come riding down that pass on my horse. Oh, I big bad bill from the Badlands. I'm a real tough Aubrey, of course. You can tell I love to battle when you see me in my saddle. But I need someone to help me off my horse. Oh, I'm Big Bad Bill from the Badlands. Once I had a fight with Wyatt Earp, you see. Oh, my height was quite a blessing as I drew by Smith and Wesson. I shot for Wyatt Earp right in the knee. 
Once I met a pretty girl, and just to show off all my charms, I put on John Wayne's boots, but they pitched me under the arms. I love to go out dancing, I am really at my peak. No matter how tall the girl is, we're always dancing cheek to cheek. Oh, I'm big, bad, built from the bad man. I'm a real tough hombre, of course. You can tell I love to battle when you see me in my saddle. But my wife won't let me out tonight. Oh, no, my wife won't let me out. So give me a home where the buffaloes roam. And I'll show you a dirty house.